Great Depression. I became the largest employer in America. I was named the Work Projects Administration. I was the WPA. But you called me the whistle, piss, and argue game. We piddle around, working pissants. Schoolyard taunts rang bitter as your whiskey breath through gilded senate chambers as I poured concrete over your broken country. As chapped mouths walked past signs reading, jobless men move on, we cannot take care of our own on their way to headbent breadlines. While your yesterday millionaires pollock spatter painted city sidewalks with their, it's all gone. I paid architects and bricklayers out of the same pocket. Of course, you were afraid of rural libraries. Yeah. Of something that has value without price. Of reading men. Of course, self-worth looked like socialism to your pale eyes. I was an alphabet agency. I built libraries on the work days of men who signed their paychecks with X's but handled their wives with new accomplishments, ruffled merit into their children's hair. I built you an observatory to gaze at the heavens on bricks laid by fathers who didn't have a nickel for a matinee. There was a larger silver screen for them to look to. I was made to give dignity to a kneeling nation. And you called them shovel beans. You called me charity. I was not charity. Charity is what you give to prove that you are expensive. And as soon as you found a cheaper way to prove that, you left my libraries to dog ear themselves so that you could outfit that war years before you cared to fight it. You replaced pride with profit and dared call that patriotism. I was pride in a fallen home front. I was home in dusty train yards. I was Meadow Lake Stadium, fat, fat, beautiful. I built you LaGuardia, handed you a hub, a glass windowed arrival. I paid 6,000 writers to compile travel guides of each of my 48 shattered states, knowing they were still worth visiting. I yes. bought Jackson Pollock's first paintbrush ravings like him. I did not work in black and white. You would remember me in sepia tone. That keeps me from being flesh for you. Do not forget that children watch their mothers bend to pick coins out of storm drains in full color. Do not forget that the men I brought honest under the sun shone proud burnt pink at the end of each day. Do not forget I did not build these bridges for you to burn.